bright beauty every student matters hello children welcome to the session in this session we are going to discuss about the pinhole camera so children what is a pinhole camera pinhole camera as the name suggest is the simplest camera without lens children okay it is the simplest camera without using a lens so children in this session you are going to learn how you can create your own pinhole camera and as the name suggest it is a pinhole camera that means we ha we are going to create a hole of the size of a pin so small and with the help of this we are going to create a camera so let us quickly start with the session so children the pinhole camera is also known as camera obscura or it is also known as a dark room and it is just a simple optical imaging device right we uh, why it is an imaging device that is because we observe an object and creates it and create its image okay children that is why we call it as a simple optical imaging device in the shape of a closed box so it is in the shape of a closed box children right and it is the simplest camera without lens okay so let us start and see how we can create this so children what i'm going to do is i will first explain you and then we are going to read about it okay children so for what we are going to do is we need two rectangular boxes like these one and two and one box is slightly larger than the second box such that when we have to slide the second box inside the first we will we should be able to do it okay so the first step it is after taking the two rectangular boxes we will remove this face this one face from both the rectangular boxes okay and in the larger box we will create a pin hole right over here this is a pin hole a hole which is of the size of a pin right and in the smaller rectangular box you will cut a rectang a square piece of uh, dimension maybe you can take 5 cm or 6 cm so you will cut a piece of square and on this uh, cut out piece you will play you will paste a translucent uh, you will place a translucent translucent screen maybe a tracing paper you can place over here you can paste it over here now what you are going to do is you will take this second rectangular box and try inserting it inside the first rectangular box okay children and from this side that is the open side of this uh, small rectangular box you will observe the image now what you are going to do is you will try to obtain the image of a say distant tree which is out there in bright sunlight and you will uh, observe it from this side and you can place a towel over your head so that uh, you have a dark room situation with yourself okay now children now you will try to observe the image on this screen the translucent screen and you can adjust the uh, uh, you can adjust this uh, so small rectangular box by sliding it forward or backward so that you obtain the clear image of the object that you want to see okay children so let us now read about it i hope that you would have understood so what we have done i'll just quickly give you a recap we took two rectangular boxes one is larger one the other one is smaller one first of all we will remove this uh, one face from both the rectangular boxes okay and in the first one we create the other side of the larger rectangular box we create a pin hole whereas in second one we cut, uh, we cut a square piece of dimension 5 or 6 cm and we will paste a translucent screen like a tracing paper now we will insert this small rectangular box inside the larger one and try to observe the image through this side of the smaller rectangular box and we will slide it further or backward forward or backward in order to obtain the clear image of the object on this screen okay children i hope that you would have understood this this is very simple okay children so what we have done is we have taken two boxes so that one can slide into another with no gap in between okay children this is important then you have to cut open the side of each box one side of each box we have cut open then on the opposite face of the larger box make a small pin hole in the middle right as we have done then in the smaller box cut out the middle of a square with a side of about 5 to 6 cm cover this open uh, square in the box with a 
tracing paper which is the translucent screen children okay now what you are going to do is you will slide the uh, smaller box inside the larger one with the hole in such a way that the uh, side which with the tracing paper is inside so you have to make sure we have to insert it in this way that the tracing paper side is inwards okay and our pinhole camera is ready for use right children so move uh, let's move ahead now holding the pinhole camera look through the open face of the smaller box through this face we are going to open we are going to look through this face now you should use a piece of black cloth to cover your head and the pinhole camera now try to look at some distant object like a tree or a building through the pinhole camera but what we have to make sure we have to make sure that the objects that we wish to obtain through the pinhole are in bright sunshine okay children move the smaller box forward or backward till you get the picture of the tra on the tracing paper right children and look through the pinhole camera at the vehicles or people moving in the bright sunlight so children this is the functioning or mechanism of this pinhole camera right construction of pinhole camera materials required two cardboard boxes a and b such that one box can slide tightly in the other box adhesive gum tissue paper small candle match box black cloth black paint common pin brush method take the bigger cardboard box a and cut its one side in the opposite side mark a point in its middle at this point make a small hole h with the help of common pin this is a hole of the size of pin head and is commonly called pin hole paint this box black from inside and allow it to dry take the smaller cardboard box b and cut it both sides on its one side fix a tissue paper with the help of adhesive gum this tissue paper acts as screen of the pin hole camera paint this box black from inside and outside and allow it to dry when the paint dries on both boxes slide the box b into box a your pinhole camera is ready now light a small candle in front of lighted candle place the pinhole camera put the black cloth over the cardboard tube b and your head look through the cardboard tube you observe an inverted image of the lighted candle which is very small in size now pull the cardboard tube b slightly outward you observe that image is still inverted but it becomes slightly bigger and somewhat less bright as compared to earlier image now push the cardboard tube b toward pinhole you observe that image is still inverted but it becomes smaller and somewhat more bright as compared to the earlier image now uh, children what we have to do is we will now obtain the image of sun right and in order to obtain the image of the sun we need a slightly different and a relatively simpler pinhole camera we are not going to use this one now we just take we will just take a piece of cardboard paper and make a hole in center of it and we will place it in the direction of the sunlight and try to observe its image on the clear surface okay so let us now image the sun with our pinhole camera we need a slightly different setup for this we just need a large sheet of cardboard with a small pinhole in the middle right children and hold the sheet up in the sun and let its shadow fall on the clear area look at the pinhole images of the sun okay children so we will be able to obtain the image the circular image of the sun on the clear area right children and also children where do we use these pinhole cameras we use these pinhole cameras to obtain the image of the eclipses to look through the eclipses and what are eclipses children uh, children do you know that earth and moon cast shadows uh, on each other so this is known as an eclipse that is the moon or the earth 
cast shadow on each other when they align with the sun in a straight line so children there are uh, 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 such occurrences when the sun the sun the moon and the earth all lies in a straight path so when uh, moon cast its shadow on the surface of earth we call it as solar eclipse whereas in the case when uh, earth earth cast its shadow on the surface of moon we call it as lunar eclipse so we use such pinhole cameras to observe these eclipses okay children so let us now move ahead and uh, we have a nature's way of creating pinhole camera to children so children have you observed sometimes when you are walking through a park or through the playground you have you would have observed that uh, uh, the images formed by a tree having lots 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 of leaves you will observe circular images on the ground you can see these circular light images on the ground what are these children these are actually the images of sun which are created on the surface why because the small gaps between the leaves of the tree will act as the pinhole and they will create the image of sun on the surface of the uh, uh, on the surface of the playground right children so this is the nature's own way of creating a pinhole camera right so children there is an interesting pinhole camera in nature sometimes when we pass under a tree covered with large number of leaves we notice small patches of sunlight under it right we can observe small patches of sunlight these circular images are in fact the pinhole images of the sun and the gaps between the leaves act as the pinholes right and these gaps are in all kinds of irregular shapes but we can see the circular images of the sun okay children next time you go out do try to figure out or observe the images of the sun through the nature's pinhole camera okay children so let us now move ahead towards another activity which is going to prove to us that light always travels in a straight path so children in order to prove that light travels in a straight path we are going to do an activity in this activity we are going to take a bulb we will light it and try to observe it through a straight pipe and through if we observe it through a straight pipe through, through a straight pipe we will be able to observe this bulb now try to observe this image using a curved pipe will you be able to observe the image no in this case you will not be able to see the bulb why because light do not travel in curved path light always travels in a straight path so let us read about it so switch on the electric bulb now look at the bulb through a rubber tube you can see that light lighted bulb clearly now bend the rubber tube and a little while you are looking at the bulb turn the pipe a little to your left or right no because the light travels along the straight path and it cannot bend around and therefore in the case of bent pipe you won't be able to see the image of the bulb so children this activity proves that light always travels in the straight path okay children so i really hope that you would have understood the concept really well